Hey guys, welcome. My name is Edith. Today, as you can see, we are cleaning up. We're going to do a clean up with me in this playroom. So this is the girls designated play area. This is their craft room. This is their room where I want them to spend most of their time. So right now it is a mess because we recently moved in. So everything is just thrown in here. There's no organization. So I'm going to start with just cleaning up the pieces that I see on the floor and clearing an area so that I can start organizing their toys. So this go is going to be phase one because I do want to buy a cubicle or some type of system to organize their toys. But for now, we're going to work with what we have and try to organize the toys as much as possible. This is my little girl here dancing. We're having fun, enjoying this clean with me. We're listening to some music, which is amping up the vibes. So... So these cubicles were used in a bedroom in our old um, house and it doesn't go with their new color scheme in their bedroom. So I'm going to use it as a temporary organizer for their toys. You're going to see in the next clip how I use it to categorize the toys, sorry, categorize the toys into different sections just for easier access for them. of categories so see. you won't be able to see me okay so I have a little dolls here right now I'm putting brats here I'm probably missing I mean mixing some things that's not brats like this is rainbow doll this is probably the I don't know might be a little doll so I'll put it with the little doll so right now this is a little dolls, Bratz Rainbow Dolls, Barbie. This is like uh baby dolls, clothes and stuff like that, accessories. This right now I'm using as pretend play, so like any little doctor or kitchen or things like that. Play-Doh here, I'm probably going to do Bluey, Peppa Pig, Paw Patrol, and then I still have this one available. Um, so right now, it's just trying to get everything into something, but then um, I'm going to probably have to do it again when we do get the final system because I probably want to have a designated space for LO dolls, a space for Rainbow High, and a space for like brats, just to make it easier to organize. But for now, this is what we're going to do. We got rid of one bag. We have three more bags and bits to go. So let's just keep going. <laughs> you if you have kids and they're in the way or asking to help this would be a good way to involve them as well as teaching them how you want the toys to be organized so that when they do play in the playroom they will be able to put the things back into place especially if they help organize the play area in the first place so I think that this will encourage her to make sure that she puts the toys where they belong especially when she's seen the process of us getting the toys from these big bulky bags where she didn't have access to them into a better system where she's able to see all of her toys and play with all of her toys on a daily basis. So I would really encourage you to involve the little ones. <laughs>
Okay, so as you guys can see, I've cleared up this area here. I had this bin, but I opened it and it's all of like their big dolls. So I'm going to leave that alone. Um, as you can see here, I created like a pile of like random toys. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I've also realized that based on the toys that they have here, um, so based on the toys that they have here, this is the pile I created, but these aren't really toys that, um, I'm probably going to give away because they do play with some of these and then the rest are broken. So I realized that before we moved from PA, I did create a pile of toys that I donated. So I thought, I forgot I donated some toys. So I realized just now that based on the toys that I did take out of their pile of favorite toys, there's not really a lot of toys to give away. Now I do still have a box of PA of toys that I have to like sort through. And maybe there I have toys that I want to give away. But for now, these are the only toys right here. Some of them are broken. And some of them is just, I don't know what category to create for it. So now I am going to just pick up these random toys all around. Put them in the bins they belong in. And figure out what I'm going to do with this area. And sweep. Just clean up the area. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. So, let's start. This is a homework package um, my stepdaughter was looking for. She couldn't find it anywhere. And when she went back to school after the, uh, the winter vac vacation, the teacher gave her another package because she could not find this. And here it is. toys that came with these doll houses I'm going to put them in one of the cubes in hopes that they'll remember to put these little tiny toys away because mama does not want to be looking for these little mini toys every time they want to play because they didn't put them where they were supposed to be so each girl is going to get a bin and in each bin I am going to put the toys that belong to the doll house so here we have a Barbie dollhouse as well as a LOL dollhouse. They each is going to get a cubicle and the cubicles are going to hold the miniature toys that come with the house. I'm hoping that this will help them keep organized and that every time they're ready to play, they'll be able to find all of their toys. Here you're going to see me about to turn it around because when I put it together, I didn't realize that it was supposed to be the other way around. So yeah, so let's keep cleaning and I hope you're cleaning with me. I don't want to be doing this on my own. So I hope that we're cleaning together and encouraging each other to just, I guess, keep cleaning.
excuse the lighting. This kind of looks weird, but this is the reveal. If you remember what it looked like. And now this. So I was able to separate everything into bins. So like I said earlier, this is the LO house, Barbie house. These two bins. This one here is the LO, has all the toys. And here we have the Barbie. This is the Barbie house furniture. Um, so everything that belongs in this section is here, including the bins. Then when you move over to the kitchen area, this bin has all the food, plates, all the cooking stuff here. Then this is the easel. I reorganized this. And down here, I've just put all of the boards. I just felt like it was wasted space down there. So I put all of the game boards. Then we have this bin, which ended up being filled with like baby dolls um, and like plush toys. So I left that there. I was able to close the, the stroller. It was nowhere else to put it while it was open. So I just closed it. It's simple to open back up. So I just closed it just to not have it on the actual floor, just floating around. Here we have all the baby clothes that's related to the bin. Here is like the, what is it called? Quicksand or Play-Doh stuff is in there. Here we have the Peppa Pig, Paw Patrol, all the little cartoon characters. And here is the Peppa Pig house as well as the um, Bluey house. Then this bin here is literally just random stuff um, that I didn't find no other category for. And then this here is a photo organizer I got from Michael's. And what I have in there is like flashcards and um, flashcards and puzzles. And then at the end, I have books. So this is what it looks like. I'm really happy with how it turned out, but this is not the final look.